Hey, what's up, Resistance? This is Joey here on YouTube. Uh, this is going to be the seventh installment of the Living as Learn series. And uh, I've kind of wrestled with uh, this video a couple times already. And the uh, first couple of ones I did, uh, I just did not like the way the uh, topic was going. So, and, and then after I actually, you know, got to thinking more about it, uh, kind of uh, changed directions just a little bit on... Uh, on, on how it's gonna roll but anyway uh this is not one particular de disease so to speak it's gonna be more of a group and uh it's gonna be in your uh your stds your uh, sexually transmitted diseases now you know that's that stuff it's it's rampant uh now you know you've got all the you've got chlamydia uh, syphilis uh gonorrhea uh, hiv and a whole list of other different kinds of the diseases that are transmitted through sexual contact uh there's some i think that can you know possibly even be uh spread without actual sexual intercourse uh, but anyway i'm not going to go into a whole lot of uh, details on that and for a couple reasons one is youtube uh two is i uh, really didn't do a whole lot of research on the individual diseases of them so a lot of what i'm going to uh, discuss about is you know it's should be known fact and my opinions on some of it um, but anyway you know in a shts situation i'm talking long term here uh people that live a promiscuous lifestyle uh, drug addicts and stuff like that you, you know they're those two worlds kind of go hand in hand with each other you know uh, the trading of sexual favors for drugs money stuff like that you know it, it, it's just the way it is people uh, that's you know when you've got a uh, government that don't care about its own country and doesn't really do a lot to help the people that really needs the help in in something like this you know they don't care but then you got some people themselves they don't care either you know they they want to go out they want to get high uh they want to they want to do things to their body that's uh, negative and stuff like that but in an shgs situation you're going to have those same people still going to be around uh you know if they're carriers of the such stds such as uh uh, syphilis, uh, chlamydia, uh, gonorrhea, uh, HIV, AIDS, uh, and, uh, and a whole uh, list of, of them out there, y'all. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that there's some that can be transmitted without the uh, actual sexual intercourse. Uh, of course, the, the sharing of needles, uh, that's, that's definitely one way it's going to happen uh you know there's there's some out there that's extremely uh communicable uh some of the uh, hepatitis that from my understanding can be uh transferred from one person to the next just by uh, the handling of uh anything uh, that they have transferred a body fluid onto i mean say they've coughed in their hand they've grabbed a faucet you come right up behind them. You have an open wound on your hand. You grab it a faucet, and uh, you know it just goes goes on from there. Uh, not saying that that can happen that way, but I, I see the possibility of it. Uh, you know, it it is what it is, people. Uh, so anyway, uh, in the SHTF situation, you'll have people that are they have not prepped. They've not gotten ready. Uh, they don't have no food stores, no stocks, no nothing. And, you know, these people, they may have families, they may have kids. Uh, so they may go out and, you know, start doing things uh, to to gain stuff that they need. Uh, now, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, everybody that's doing something like that is going to be infected with the disease. But y'all know how it spreads. Y'all know it, it can it can go that way. Now, uh, so uh, I mean, best thing to do is just you know practice abstinence. Uh, if you have a spouse, uh, 
uh, you know, that's who you're with. If you have a partner, partner that you're intimate with, uh, you know, remain with that partner. Don't don't go venturing out and uh, don't fall prey to, uh, I don't really want to say fall prey, but don't, don't allow yourself to uh, be coerced into uh, trading preps that you have worked to acquire to someone that is willing to uh, do sexual favors for you to get those. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's just something you, you need to stay away from. Uh, now, this is where I go squirrel at, so I'm, I'm going to just leave that where it's at. The last couple of videos I've made, I've wandered off on that subject, so uh, we, we're done with that part. Now, here's where I've kind of, when I got to thinking, um, as long as the preppers, so to speak, uh, do what they should be doing uh, and keeping themselves, you know, on the straight and narrow, um, eventually, now this is in the long term, SHT of people, and I mean, you know, it, it's really going to pop, you know, EMP, all that kind of stuff, you know, it, it's pretty much civilization is never going to return back to the normal way it was, but I can actually see these diseases burning themselves out, to be honest with you. Um, you know, eventually the uh, the drugs are going to the, to run out. I mean, the people that know how to uh, make some of the uh, your urban pharmaceutical specialists, so to speak, the eventually these people will probably succumb to their own industry. Uh, you know, these people got to eat too. So, you know, I I, I just see the. Uh, uh, Darwin stepping in and taking care of some of the things, uh, you know, uh, eventually, uh, these people, I, you know, like a better way of saying it, these people will die off eventually. Um, you know, and as if you, you and your mag have remained clean and, and, uh, true to your mate, your, your spouse, uh, and there's no reason why these diseases should uh, continue to exist. Uh, I'm not going to say that every single body that's got something like that or lives like that is going to die. I mean, I'm not saying that disease would be totally wiped out the face of the earth. Uh, I'm just saying that the scarcity of it will probably increase as time goes. Uh, I mean... Uh, just cold hard facts people uh, there's there's people out there that's not going to make it and those ones that's not going to make it is the ones that's not prepared themselves for it I mean uh, dumb luck can only take you so far uh, you know you can only live like a, a rat for just a, a certain amount of time and eventually either a couple of things is going to happen you're going to wind up getting killed because of the lifestyle you're living uh you're going to wind up dying from either uh, a disease that you're carrying or uh, lack of food and water uh or you're gonna you may wind up you know if you're into the uh drug use you know going out that way you know uh but anyway, uh, I got I did dig some digging around. I want to bring bring up some uh, names from the past. Uh, there is a uh, people like uh, Christopher Columbus, uh, Howard Hughes, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte uh, actually were uh, thought of to have uh, syphilis. Uh, that that's the disease that's been around for a long, long time. And uh, JFK is rumored to have had a STD, but from uh, what I dug around, his family destroyed most of his medical records. And so anything that he had like that was just a rumor. Don't know if it's true or not. You know, it's, we'll never know. I mean, not that it really matters anyway about any of those people. Uh, it's just a little trivia uh, throughout gender. 
But like I say, people, uh, you know, stay clean, uh, stay, be be true to your partner. Uh, don't don't go out messing around. Uh, you know, keep your pants on. Uh, don't even consider the fact that you may have a prophylactic uh, that's going to keep you safe. Because uh, I mean that that may not work in all situations. Uh, you know, there's there's uh, bugs out there that can be transferred from one person to another, and uh, you don't even have to have no sexual contact. But you know, uh, a condom's not going to protect you from those either. Uh, so you, you know, you, you just just stay clean, people. It's it's all too easy to prevent this one. This this is not something like the uh, cholera or something like that that exists out in the wild, and uh, you can uh, pick it up from you know drinking bad water stuff like that. Uh, you know, you got a whole set of other various life-threatening diseases for those but uh the std section of it is something that can it can be easily prevented y'all so just stay clean y'all when you know, the time comes stay clean now uh you know don't don't wander off now uh but anyway that's that's all i've got on this today uh, uh i'm not gonna try to uh, add anything else to it but y'all are adults y'all uh know what adult lives can lead to uh young teens uh you know i see parents having to really uh you know put put the screws down on you know in in a shtf situation uh, so you know you got to protect them as long as you do yourself all right uh, that's it for this here video today i'm gonna uh work on another one uh, that I'm going to release later today. Um, this is something that's uh, I've I've seen another uh, channel discuss this. Uh, actually, uh, Warlord TV. Uh, so I'm going to kind of hit on it a little bit and uh, do a video on it. But it's about uh, it's not really firearm maintenance or nothing like that. But it is firearm related. Uh, so if y'all interested in that, be on the lookout for it. Uh, I'm going to start working on that as soon as I get off of here and finish up this cup of coffee I got sitting up here. But y'all stay low, stay ready.